Hey everyone and welcome back to Carmona Homeschool of 3. No, you're not seeing things. I did change the color of my hair, but today I am going to be doing a review and flip through of Go Math. I get a ton of questions about this curriculum, if we enjoy it, what it looks like. So I thought I would do a quick review and a nice flip through so that you can see it in case you want to um, order this curriculum. So I'll make sure to leave all the links down below where you can purchase it. Um, and let's go ahead and jump in to the review. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you find it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new. Okay, so this is Go Math. I get a ton of questions about this curriculum, so I thought I would go ahead and do a quick flip through. Um, so this is the Common Core version. I do want to state that I do believe there is a non-Common Core version in case you don't need Common Core. Um, but our state does do Common Core and they do testing in our state, so we, I have opted for using Common Core. I don't know, I always mess up if I pronounce this correctly or not. Hoofton, Mifflin, Harcourt, Hoofton, I don't know. But this book comes in two, I mean this um, curriculum comes in two books. This is the second grade level, so you see it's got the duck on it. Um, it comes in volume one and volume two. In my opinion, number the volume one is the not so fun math and then volume two is more hands-on fun for the kids, like measuring, time, that kind of stuff. Um, so, I get a lot of questions about if my daughter likes this curriculum, if we enjoy it, and the answer is kind of complicated, but for the most part, we enjoy this math. It's a good common core option, I believe. Um, it's fun and colorful. It's got games in here, and so I think that makes it really fun, um, but in all honesty, if I didn't need a common core curriculum, I don't think this is what we would be using. We would probably be using teaching textbooks. Um, so anyway, with that said, I'm just gonna go over the topics of the, um, of the contents because if I go through all of it, it's gonna take forever. So the first one is number concepts. Um, so different ways to write numbers, um, counting patterns. Um, number two is uh, numbers to a thousand. Number three is addition and subtraction, basic facts and relationships. Number four is two-digit uh, two addition. Number five, two-digit subtraction. Number six, three-digit addition and subtraction. Number seven, money and time. And the contents is on book is in both books, um, the whole contents. So this right here is starting at volume two. Uh, money and time, length and customary units, um, length and metric units, and data, data, however you like to pronounce that, and then geometry and fraction concepts. Um, so this is the last um, unit that we'll be going into um, before our school year is over. But, so they kind of start out fun, all of the units, some of them start out with like a little story prompt that's kind of like word problem related. So this one was about whales. We don't really do all this extra stuff. We're more like, let's just get the math done. Um, the one thing I do think, like I said, is it's really colorful. It does have these games in the front that you can play with your kiddos if you have the right little um, things that it has you use. Like these ones, you would use those little circle, um, like red and yellow clear circle thingies. I don't know what they're called. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna flip through here really quick. I don't want this video to be like super long. Um, so you have all of this that you're learning about. The one thing I do have to say about this curriculum that I don't enjoy is that, and I just believe it's Common Core because I do believe Common Core likes to, the whole, well not the whole point of Common Core, but a very big point of Common Core is to teach the children how to be able to solve the problem many different ways. And so you could have two plus three, and then you're gonna break down the two, you're gonna break down the three, you're gonna figure out how you could estimate that um, problem, and all kinds of stuff, and I just, eventually I think um, my daughter gets really bored because it's like, kind of beats it into the child's head. Um, so I think this is, a great option, a good option if you need Common Core. So there's about like, I think six pages to each lesson. Um, let me show you. So here, let's start with lesson 1.8. So you have the first page here. So one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. So this is, so you have four of the regular pages and then what they call practice and homework and then um, the lesson check. Now I only um, have my daughter do four pages because it will take forever for her to do six pages. I do think the lessons get a little long, so I cut out two pages of each lesson. Um, and then every couple lessons, or every few lessons, about every 10 or so lessons, you have a chapter test, um, which is usually about like 20, 20 questions or so, sometimes even less, like look, this one only has 11. I don't think I've seen a chapter that has any, I mean a test that has any more than 20 questions. That's the baby in the background, you guys. So anyway, there's about, yeah, four pages, um, six, four to six pages a lesson, um, and then, uh, yeah, you move on, and then you have a chapter test. I do think, like I said, um, I do think it's a pretty good um, little, math curriculum if you need Common Core. These blocks were very helpful to have um, doing this unit like the tens cubes or if you just have like the little connector blocks. Um, those were really helpful for Jocelyn to be able to do more hands-on so I would really suggest getting some of these. Now this curriculum, um, the Go Math does come in what they call like a homeschool bundle. I believe you can buy it on like Rainbow Resource or something like that, but it is a lot more expensive and it doesn't come like this. It doesn't come in these two work texts. It comes in a bunch of, I believe each unit is broken down into a tiny little workbook. And then you get, I think, uh, manipulatives and things like that. But the homeschool bundle, I believe, on sale was about $150. Now I got both of these workbooks um, for 30 bucks. So in my opinion, it's better to just get the work text, saves you a lot of money, and then you can just buy yourself some cubes. I don't know what's um, so great about breaking each unit down into miniature workbooks. I find that that might actually be worse if your child, you know, likes to lose things. So anyways, another little story, and then it also, each chapter also has little vocabulary cards, which we don't use, like I said, we don't really, use any of this stuff but fun little games um so it's really a fun little curriculum again the only thing i don't like is i do sometimes end up having her um skip some lessons just because i feel like it's the same thing over and over and over again and she gets bored with it and then i get frustrated with her because she's frustrated with um the lessons so um there's that and um yeah, so let's move on to book three. All right, here is book three. As I told you, this one starts with money and time. So this is kind of like the more, the, the funner of the workbooks, if you ask me. Um, a lot of money going on. Then uh, um, my daughter, has liked this one the most and struggled the less with this volume two versus the volume one book. Um, like I said, because with money and time, I feel like it's just a little bit more hands-on and I believe that's the way my daughter um, learns the best is hands-on learning. Um, so that's really fun because you could just get like a little clock manipulative for her to be able to, for your child to be able to move the hands around and stuff to show what's on the page as well. Um, and then a lot of measuring um, and then estimating with measuring and things like that. Um, so I do notice though um, in the volume two there's more writing um, portions than there was in volume one and my daughter is not really a fan of that. She doesn't, she likes to skip all the writing ones. She's like, can I just skip that? And I'm like, no, come on, you gotta do that. So right now she's working on line plotting Um, so yeah, there's that, the same type of thing. Um, then number lines, estimating in meters. Um, so yeah, fun little curriculum. Definitely recommend it if you need a, um, a common core um, math curriculum. Like I said, in my opinion, um, it does um, kind of 
drill the methods into the child's head but other than that I mean just skip a, skip around don't feel like you have to do every single page in the book as you can see these stars I have gone through the textbook and starred the pages that I want my daughter to do and it's not every page and it's not every lesson either so don't feel like you have to do the whole book just because it's there um, but of course I do like to have her do the, the little review test um, just to see that she's grasping all of the concepts. So, um, and then next she has a little um, story to read. So this is about geometry and fractions, which is the last unit in the book. Um, so write a little story and then you're into the unit. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye.